Remember there was an app called Quiver. This is practically an application that acts as your second brain and allows you to have a unified connection across all your documents, tools, as well as databases. And it's powered by AI. But today, I introduce a similar and more intricate application called Coach. Coach is an open source AI copilot, which acts as your second brain. Coach is an application that creates always available personal AI agents for you to extend your capabilities. It can easily assist you without you having to sift through online results or your own notes. This is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this open source Copot. It's your personal AI agent, which acts as your digital brain where it's connecting across all your documents, tools, and databases with the power of AI. Now, let's take a look at some features. You can always share your notes and documents to extend your digital brain. This basically means that you can feed your documents, you can incorporate third-party tools, as well as databases to extend your digital brain by sharing these notes to it. And this is where you're also going to be able to have access to real-time information, where the AI agents that you develop with Coach will have internet access. So this will allow for in like for you to have an incorporation of real-time information from the web. You have multi-platform accessibility where you can utilize this on the desktop. You have these other platforms and you can also even share PDFs, Markdown, org mode, Notion files, as well as GitHub repositories. You're gonna be able to fast and accurately have semantic search where you can enjoy quick and precise semantic search across all your documents. You also have the ability to have it so that this is a personalized content creation so that your agents can create deeply personal images and understand your speech, which is really cool. And at lastly, it's open source, self-hostable, and it's something that you can get started today. You can even extend this further and they have a documentation, which I truly recommend that you refer to because it has a lot more information as to how you can get started. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, once you go to the self-hosted page, this is where it will showcase how you can install it. For the first installation method, that is with Docker. You just simply need to have Docker engine installed and you can run the Docker compose up formula to have it fully hosted on your computer. Another method is installing it locally. And this is where you need to have the prerequisites fulfilled. You need to have Postgres. You need to install it for Windows, Linux, as well as from source. If you're, if you're going to be doing it from source, you would still need to have it. So make sure that you have Postgres. Once you have done that, if you're on Windows, you would just use the recommended installer. Once that is done, you just need to follow through by creating the database, installing the packages, which it showcases how you can do so. There's also optional things such as to use NVIDIA CUDA GPU, you can also use an AMD one. So you just need to specify based off the GPU that you have. And it showcases how you can set your API key. And it showcases how you can even set it up on a server. So definitely take a look at this if you're going to be having it fully locally hosted. But in my opinion, the best method is installing with Docker as it's the easiest. Another cool thing I would recommend is potentially installing it with Obsidian. Obsidian is a personal knowledge base and a note taking software application. And the integration of Coach, you will be able to get sharper responses on your context. And it's super easy to install. As you saw here, you're just simply installing the pip function for Coach, and you can have it installed as a plugin within Obsidian. And this is a doc that I'll be attaching in the description below, which will showcase all these different steps. Now, another method to use this is through their cloud deployment. And this is where you can just simply click on the Get Started tab. And you will be then sent over to this login page you can continue with google and you can just sign in and you will be then sent over to the dashboard where you can actually utilize coach on the cloud and there you go this is your coach dashboard and you can see that you're going to have all your conversations on the left hand side this is where you're going to be able to interact with your second brain and this is the chat component 
you can go to the agent component where you have all these different types of agents. For example, there is the basic coach agent, which is a smart, inquisitive, and helpful personal assistant. You have a doctor, which I truly wouldn't recommend, but it can assist you in some health-related questions. You have Marvin, which is a depressed robot. So you can see that there's various other personas that they have created with these agents. You have the ability to automate tasks within Coach, which is really cool, where you can automatically allow you to schedule smart reminders using Coach. This is an experimental feature, so your results might not be the best, but look at this. You have suggested automations, such as weekly newsletters. This is something where you can automate newsletters and have it posted to your own blog. You have daily weather updates, market summary, as well as front page of Hacker News. A summary of it. And you can see that this is a great way for you to automate certain things. So if you can see that, let's take a look at this front page of Hacker News automation. We can just simply click on add automation, which will then we can click on. And this is where it will summarize the five top five posts from Hacker News. And it will share them with me, including the links. And then we can click save. And we can even build our own where you can schedule these agents to automate certain tasks. Give it instruction for example go on twitter and give me the most related content that is being posted for ai and it'll give me the top posts over here you can create this and then you can deploy it within your chat component which is your second brain now if we go back to the chat component this is where you're going to be able to answer general questions or coach is going to be able to do this you're going to get real-time answers find relevant info on notes and documents be a soundboard for your ideas Generate images based on your context, hear you talk, understand your files, and be tuned to your conversations. Now, you may be wondering, how can you upload your own files? This is where you would need to go over to this icon and click on settings. Once you are here, you'll be then able to have all these different data usage, which you can basically have it connected to coach, such as your files from your computer, sync it with Notion pages, as well as with GitHub, and you can have multilingual support. Now, you can then simply just click on the sync button after you have uploaded it. You can interact with different models. At the moment, you have GPT-4 Turbo, you have GPT-3.5, GPT-4.0125 Preview, as well as the new GPT-4.0 Omni model. You have other uh, APIs in which you can access client apps to Coach. You can have it connected to WhatsApp, and you can have it so that you can utilize their cloud platform, which is, I believe, something that is not free and it's understandable because it's something that would cost money to have it hosted which is why i would have it installed locally where you can access all these features completely for free so if you had uploaded your own documents you can start chatting with it with on the cloud and this would be a great way for you to chat privately with your documents this is something that's quite similar to anything lm you also have the ability to ask it various questions so that it can utilize the online search agent. For example, you can ask it to plan a three-day itinerary for London. It's gonna utilize the understanding query agent, it's gonna search online for it, it's gonna read through web pages where it's gonna refer with citations and it'll provide you these citations so that it will provide you the answer within a couple of seconds. And there you go, it generates this three-day itinerary where it gives you morning, afternoon, evening, it also has a second day planned out where it tells you the places you should visit. And this is just like a small little example. And I know you can just do this within ChatGPT. But the reason why you would use this is because you can have it so that it chats with various functionalities altogether. Where you won't even need to search online for responses or your documents. You can have it so that you can chat with your documents as well as your whatever sources that you're using online. And have it so that they're both connected together. You're creating your own like I would say knowledge base and it's basically utilizing all these different sources that you have uploaded and it's going to be able to find answers based off of everything that you have provided and this is why we call it a digital brain because it has access to everything that you give it and that's about it for today's video on coach I'll leave all the links as to what I use in today's video in the description below I hope you liked it and you got some sort of value out of it make sure you follow me on the patreon page so that you can access descriptions completely for free this is to AI tools that we give out on a monthly basis. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to get daily AI news. You should definitely follow me on the YouTube page because this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI topics. And I cover videos, which is really entertaining and a lot of value being posted. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.